Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome back to the Solutions to Microeconomics course. We will solve the exercises for the utility part of Chapter Three in the textbook Microeconomics Theory and Applications with Calculus, the fifth edition by Professor Jeffrey Pilaf. We will examine the typical utility functions for perfect substitutes, perfect complements, and imperfect substitutes, and find out what their indifference curves look like. We will also learn the concept of marginal rate of substitution (MRS). Let's look at exercise. Two point one. The consumer considers tickets to the Houston Grand Opera and to Houston Astros baseball games to be perfect substitutes. Show his preference map. What is his utility function? The indifference curves for perfect substitutes are straight lines with a slope of minus one. The marginal rate of substitution is minus one. It means he's willing to exchange one ticket to the opera for one ticket to the baseball game. His preference map is a set of parallel straight lines. His utility function, that is consistent with the straight line indifference curves, is q1 plus q2. Let's solve exercise two point two. Sophia will consume hot dogs only with whipped cream. Show her preference map. What is her utility function? She views hot dogs and whipped cream as perfect complements. Her indifference curves are right angle indifference curves. Increasing one good. While holding the other constant, does not raise her utility. Her preference map is a set of parallel right angle indifference curves. Her utility function is as follows: where Q1 is the amount of hot dogs, and Q2 is the amount of whipped cream. Let's do exercise two point three. Fiona. Requires a minimum level of consumption, a threshold to derive additional utility. U x z is zero if x plus z is less or equal to five, and is x plus z otherwise. Draw Fiona's indifference curves. Which of our preference assumptions does this example violate? The indifference curves are straight lines if the sum of x and z is greater than five. Otherwise, the utility is zero, which corresponds to a solid triangle of the indifference curves. All the bundles inside the triangle give zero utiles, the same as the bundle at the origin. Recall that the preference assumptions are completeness, transitivity, and more is better. This example violates the more is better assumption. For instance, the bundle with five units of x and zero units of z gives Fiona the same satisfaction as the bundle with. Zero units of x and zero units of z. It is a contradiction of the more is better assumption. Let's go to exercise two point four. Tiffany's constant elasticity of substitution utility function is as follows. What is the monotonic transformation such that Tiffany's utility function? Is equivalent to the utility function as follows. 
the monotonic transformation is fx equals x to the power rho. Let's solve exercise 2.5. Suppose we calculate the marginal rate of substitution at a particular bundle for a consumer whose utility function is U Q1 Q2. If we use a positive monotonic transformation F to obtain a new utility function V Q1 Q2, then this new utility function contains the same information about the consumer's rankings of bundles. Prove that the marginal rate of substitution is the same as with the original utility function. The marginal rate of substitution MRS between two goods is the maximum amount of one good that a consumer is willing to give up to obtain one more unit of another good. It is determined by the shape of the indifference curve. Since the positive monotonic transformation does not change the shape of the indifference curve, the new utility function after the transformation should have the same marginal rate of substitution as the original utility function. Let's prove it mathematically. We use the chain rule of differentiation to obtain the result. Let's do exercise 2.6. What is the marginal rate of substitution for the following CES utility function? We write down the formula for the marginal rate of substitution MRS between good 1 and good 2. It is the negative of the ratio of the marginal utilities. In the first step, we write the expressions for the marginal utility of good 1 and the marginal utility of good 2. In the second step, we express the marginal rate of substitution in terms of the marginal utilities. Let's solve exercise 2.7. If the utility function is as follows, what is the marginal utility from Q2? What is the marginal rate of substitution between these two goods? In the first step, we write the marginal utility of good 2 and the marginal utility of good 1. In the second step, we plug them into the formula for the marginal rate of substitution MRS between good 1 and good 2. Let's find answers to exercise 2.8. The quasi linear utility function is as follows. Show that the marginal rate of substitution is the same on all the indifference curves at a given Q1. This exercise asks us to show that the marginal rate of substitution for the quasi-linear utility function does not depend on Q2. In the first step, we write the marginal utilities of good 1 and good 2. In the second step, we express the marginal rate of substitution MRS in terms of the marginal utilities and find that it is a function of Q1. The marginal rate of substitution does not depend on Q2. If you are curious about the shape 
of the indifference curves for the quasi-linear utility function, you can draw the curves in stata. Here is the preference map with three indifference curves. Each indifference curve has the same slope at a given Q1. In other words, the marginal rate of substitution is identical at a given Q1. Let's solve exercise 2.9. Sang Hun has a utility function over audiobox A and movie downloads M given by U equals the square root of A times M. Ling has a utility function given by U equals B times M. Explain why they have the same ordering over any two bundles and therefore have the same ordinal preferences. Ling's utility function can be obtained through a positive monotonic transformation from Sang Hun's utility function. The transformation is fx equals x to the power 2. The positive monotonic transformation does not change the consumer's preference ranking. Both utility functions have the same ordering over any two bundles and therefore have the same ordinal preferences. Thank you for solving the exercises with me today. See you tomorrow in the next part of Chapter 3. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.